So hi everyone and welcome to this video on uh, uh, the consumption and leisure framework uh, inside of basic macroeconomics. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to solve this particular item and uh, basically see the effect of an increase in tax on the consumption and leisure allocation. So uh, we are given in this particular question, okay, a one period consumption leisure model. So uh, sort of simple enough. And then um, this model okay, goes by the form LNC plus LNL. So that's just a simple uh, log linear model, separable. Um, and C denotes consumption and L denotes the leisure hours. Uh, and the, the individual in this case faces this particular budget constraint. Okay, So it's C is equal to one minus tau times W times N where tau is the tax rate, W is the wage rate, and N is the number of hours. And uh, we're given with the fact that um, the real wage is normalized to one, and uh, the total time is also normalized to one, so such that N plus L is equal to one. Okay, so the first question is asking us, okay, suppose that this labor tax rate is 20%, uh, we want to compute the optimal choice of labor hours. So, Let's start with A. So again, the goal is to be able to maximize, okay, maximize uh, U, C, L. So our choice variables are C and L. That's L and C plus L and L, okay? Uh, and this is subject to the constraint C is equal to one minus tau W, N, okay? So first step to do is we form the Lagrangian form the Lagrangian. And uh, the, the Lagrangian follows uh, this particular form, so that's L. L being a function of C, L, and lambda, right? Because this is a constraint optimization problem. So we have here uh, L and C, the objective function, okay? Then we have plus lambda, okay, times, uh, uh, we have here um, uh, one minus tau W, N, minus c. So basically, I just transpose that to the other side. And that's our Lagrangian. Okay. Next, okay, we derive our FOCs. Derive FOs and Cs, or FOCs, right? So you derive the Lagrangian with respect to c. You get, so derivative of L and c with respect to c, that's 1 over c. Derivative of L and L with respect to Z is zero. So we keep that as is. And in the constraint, we have a minus C. So derivative of that is negative one. Minus one equals zero. So this implies that lambda is equal to one over C, right? Next, we have a um, partial L. So we have uh, derivative of L and C with respect to L, that's zero. Derivative of L and L with respect to L, that's one over L, okay, plus, okay, in this case, lambda times uh, this term here, okay, we have a uh, one minus, uh, and so, well, what we notice here first is before we continue, okay, this N term here, okay, we know that from the problem, okay, N plus L is equal to one, therefore, N should be equal to one minus L, so effectively, I could rewrite the constraint as 1 minus tau, W times 1 minus L minus C, right? So if I sort of expand that out, I get 1 minus tau W minus 1 minus tau W L minus C. And then the term derivative for L becomes more clear, which is just negative 1 minus tau W, right? And uh, that would be equal to zero, which means that uh, this implies that lambda times one minus tau w is equal to one over L. And that just implies that lambda is equal to one over L times one minus tau w. Okay. Then uh, our last uh, FOC is just basically deriving respect to lambda and we just get our constraint, right? W times one minus L minus C equals zero. So those are our three first order conditions. What we do now is, okay, uh, let's number this one, two, three. 
So equating, equating, okay, one and two, we get that, okay, uh, we have one over C is equal to one over L times one minus tau W, which means that this implies that L over C is equal to one over one minus tau W, right? And particularly, this is a condition that's important because uh, this term here, okay, is the marginal, the marginal rate of substitution, substitution between leisure, leisure and uh, consumption, okay? So from here, okay, we're gonna try to isolate out either L or C. So isolate out either L or C, okay? So in this case, uh, let's try and isolate out uh, C. So we get that C is equal to L, okay, times one minus tau W, right? So we have this one. Then uh, plug, okay, plug this into the constraint, okay, into the constraint. So uh, the constraint we have, so we have um, C is equal to one minus tau W times one minus L. So if C is L times one minus tau W, then we have one minus tau W, one minus L. So we can divide both sides by one minus tau W, one minus tau W, and that goes away. So we're left with L is equal to one minus L, or, okay, transpose L to the other side, that's two L is equal to one. Therefore we have that, okay, L star, is equal to one half, okay? So the proportion of labor hours, the person, of, remember uh, the time spent uh, in total has been normalized to one. So the total time is one. So half the time, the person is uh, 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 going about leisure and half of the time the person is working, right? So that's our proportion. Then from here, from here, okay, we can, calculate C star. So remember that C is equal to, okay, we have this particular formulation, L uh, times one minus tau W, right? So C star is equal to one half, which is 0.5, okay? Times uh, one minus tau, tau here is 20%, so that's a 0 0.8 right? And then W is normalized to one. So C star must be 0 0.4, right? So we have L star being 0 0.5 or a half, and then we have C star is equaling to 0 0.4. So when the tax rate is 20%, the consumer will opt to uh, spend half their time uh, leisuring about, the other half uh, working, and consumption is going to be 0.4, okay? So that answers number uh, letter A. Letter B, we want to be able to draw a diagram, right? So how do we draw this diagram? Okay, letter B. Okay, so um, we have on one side, uh, on one axis, we have consumption. The other side, we have leisure. Okay, so letter B. So say this is consumption C. This one is leisure L, okay? So from here, we have a budget line. Okay, a budget line. That's our constraint here. If we label it, it's gonna be a one minus tau, one minus tau W, one minus L, right? That's our constraint. Uh, and uh, what we see here uh, equal to C. And then our optimal bundle, say, is the intersection between that and our indifference curve. So say it's there. Oops, let me just redraw it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to cooperate for some reason. There we go. Okay, so remember our optimal labor hours is gonna be here, which is gonna be uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Meanwhile, consumption optimally 
is here, and that is 0.4. Okay, so that's a diagram that uh, represents the agent uh, uh, consumption leisure allocation. Okay, so that's this point. So it's a, uh, let me just change this one to normal one. So it's a 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So that's C, L. And uh, the last question is just asking, well, suppose that the tax rate increased to 0.3. Okay, so let me just verify, yes, to 0.3. So that's simple enough. Notice that uh, our allocation for L will not change because uh, in this part of the solution, okay, to begin with, okay, when we went uh, from here to here, okay, notice that the tax rates and the wages canceled out, so it didn't affect L. So it would mean that L star is also still equal to 0.5 or uh, one half, okay? What will change, however, is consumption. So we know that um, C, okay, C is equal to L times one minus tau W. So the tax rate does appear here and uh, L being 0.5, okay? And the tax rate being 30%, so one minus 0.30 times one, so this is, 0.5 times 0.7. So clearly this is 0 0.35. So C star is 0 0.35. And this is the effect of the tax. So because of the imposition of the tax, um, uh, there was a, less in, a lesser incentive to consume more. That's why consumption went down by 0 0.05. Okay. So that's this uh, quick video on a simple example on the consumption leisure framework. Uh, and in the next video, we'll go through another, a little bit more complicated example. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.